The snow and winter features in a lot of medieval stories, but there's one in particular that I want to tell you about. There is a time in medieval history, around 1139 to about 1153, which is known as the Anarchy. It was a time of civil war and robber barons and general chaos, because it was a civil war between Empress Matilda and her cousin Stephen, later to become King Stephen. There's a particular story set in 1142. The winter of 1142, Stephen was besieging Matilda in Oxford Castle. Oxford Castle was at the far eastern end of Matilda's territory, if you like. So it was a very important component of the forces she was trying to gather together. And they'd been besieged for three months and food was running out. The snow started to fall and the river froze over. Now Oxford Castle is partly surrounded by a river and that river is reasonably fast and deep so it makes it quite difficult to cross. It's a good defensive barrier but at this particular time of year it froze solid and in the night Matilda and four of her knights climbed out of the castle from St George's Tower and crept out under cover of darkness and using the white cloak she made her way and escaped and crossed the river over the ice and walked all the way to Abingdon and took refuge in Wallingford Castle. We know about this incident because it was written down by William of Malmesbury in the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle. Supposedly the Empress was protected by a white cloak, presumably that would have disguised her against the snow and allowed her to creep away from the guards. I would assume her knights would have worn white cloaks as well. Empress Matilda's escape actually prolonged the anarchy by quite a long time because if Stephen had captured her he would have been able to declare himself king and the anarchy would have ended a lot earlier. So arguably this key and quite dramatic escape was an important component of the rest of the campaign and the anarchy went on for quite a few more years until eventually there was a settlement. Stephen was crowned king and unfortunately his son then died, allowing Matilda's son, Henry, to take the throne. He became Henry II, the first Plantagenet king of England. So you could argue that if it wasn't for Matilda's escape using a white cloak from Oxford on that wintry night in December, that the whole of the anarchy would have ended differently and potentially we wouldn't have had a Plantagenet line of kings at all. One of the things I always try to do is actually test some of these historical stories. So I have with me a white cloak. Well, it's a kind of off-white. It's a sort of sheep's wool white. It's not a, a modern day kind of, well, it's not snow white and it's not a paper white color. But I think this might have been the sort of cloak that maybe Matilda's knights would have worn. Maybe she would have had an ermine cloak or something posher and probably uh, a bit more bright white than this. But let's have a look at how it disguises me against the snow behind me. So I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna walk away from you without using the cloak so that you can see what I look like as I do it. Then I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna put the cloak on and I'm gonna show you and see what you think. See whether you think that white cloak would have made a difference. Personally, I think it would have done, but it's always good to test these things. Right. Right. So this is me without the cloak on. You could see me reasonably well, I think. Let's uh, let's try this cloak. Where is it? There you go. Right. Right, so there it is. It's not quite the same colour as the snow, but let's see if you think it disguises me at all. Here we go. It's quite funny to think that Matilda had to climb that wall of the castle, climb down, maybe lowered on ropes by her knights or other retainers, 
and they had to sneak across a frozen river. Could have been quite dangerous actually, if you think about it. Who knows how thick that uh, ice was on the river. So she was probably risking an awful lot, but she made good her escape, reunited with her forces and continued the campaign. So uh, good on you, Matilda, and well done those knights. And uh, clever idea to use a white cloak against the snow, I suppose. Mm -hmm.